What's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be making our own snowboarding train park. And so it is in the negatives here in Minnesota. It's going to be really hard to make jumps, but we can make it happen. Alright, so before we begin, I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown on the hill we're going to be working with today. So starting off here, we got the main layout of the hill. And then when you come down, there's a run-in that is very nice and smooth. Then after that, there's going to be a, a small jump that I attempted building. The snow was really cold, so it didn't really go together very well. And then when you go down, there's going to be a crossroads. One leads down to the ending area, and then one cuts off to a drop-off that is really fun to hit. Alright, so since it's so cold today, and it would be hard to make jumps, I'm going to start off by making the rails. So I have this wood plank here that I'm going to be using for my rails. So what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to smooth out the entrance to the rail and make this nice and smooth and flat so I don't hit the end of it. So guys, the sun is going down right now, so I'm going to test out this rail that we just made, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Alright guys, so it's the second day, and I inspected the rail here, and the snow froze, so it's not going to move anywhere. But when I took the recording, it didn't look as cool as I thought it would. So my plan here is I'm going to have a pile of snow right there at the end, I'm going to put the rail. On there, so instead of a down rail, it's gonna be flat. And I'll have like a nice drop off at the end. So it turns out that I actually did find something that would work for this. But I'm not done yet. I'm probably just gonna smooth out the entrance to this again and get this part filled in so that when I go on there, it doesn't lift the backside. And it also slid a little bit, so I'm gonna stop it from sliding, putting snow here. Let's do a test run. So the next thing, so the next thing, so the next thing that I'm going to be building my homemade terrain park is a jump. ride down on my snowboard and try to flatten out and see how it's holding up. So as you can see there, it didn't really go very well. It just flattened right out. But I'm thinking I should just pile it back up again, form it, and then drench it in water. And I'll wait for tomorrow and see if it's harder. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go on to the next rail. So as you guys saw, it did actually help to put all that water on it, but it did sink down just a little bit. So I'm thinking if I keep patting it down and then putting more snow on and patting it down and putting more snow on. Patting it down and then putting more snow on it. Then it's going to get stronger. So I'm going to try that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's 9 in the morning today and the, I just checked the jump and it, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's really hard. So. I'm gonna test it quick, have some fun, then I'm gonna throw it together and add it for you guys. I can't break it off. Let's do this.
Thank you everyone for watching my video. It was a lot of fun to make. And if this video gets 18 likes, I'll make a jump twice as big as the one that I made. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.